Hey guys and welcome to another episode of the FIFA 16 Potential Upgrades. So in today's episode there's going to be 6 new players that I think should be upgraded in the up and coming game. And I just want to leave comments down below with what players you want to see upgraded in the new game. But I want to start off the episode basically with a question of the day. The question for today's episode is going to be around Pedro who could be on his way to Chelsea. So is that a good signing? Is it a bad signing? Leave a comment down below. So the first player of today's episode is going to be the Belgium international Kevin De Bruyne who's currently having an amazing time uh, playing for Wolfsburg. It looks like he might be going to Man City in the future, uh, probably in the most transfer window but maybe in the future we'll have to wait and find out. So his current FIFA 15 potential is 88 and he starts off as an 85 rated player. So basically because he had a fantastic season he played 45 games, he scored 15 goals and he also assisted a whopping 25 goals as well. Obviously for Doss and obviously Nicholas Bedner, who could forget about that guy? Uh, so De Bruyne is one of the best cams right now in the world and I think for FIFA 16 I'm going to upgrade him from an 85 to an 86 rated player and also potential plus one again and uh, now to 89 rated as well so it could easily be 90 rated because that's how good he was last season and also do you guys think you'll go to Man City leave a comment down below so the second player of today's episode is going to be the highest potential player on FIFA 15 it is going to be James Rodriguez. So he starts off as an 86 rated player and gets to a whopping 92 rated uh, potential. So last season he played 42 games, he scored 17 goals and assisted 15 as well. So he was injured I think for the first half of the season uh, but going into the second half he was one of the biggest players for them and hopefully this season he can get even better. Uh, so on to 16 potential, I've upgraded him from a, a plus 1 to an 87 and kept his potential as the same as 92. Uh, just because I think the 93 slash maybe 94 is a bit too much and I can see him being like maybe 5-10 years being a 92 rated player uh, we'll have to wait and see what, what kind of happens with him. So for the third player of today's episode it's going to be into the Ligue 1 and we're going to go to Leon and have a look at Nabil Fakir. So last season he was rated 79 and got up to a potential of 86 but he had a fantastic season also linking up with Lacazette and so many great young players who are currently at Leon. So last season he played 34 games, he scored 16 goals and also got 9 assists so for this season I was thinking that he should be upgraded to 80 and also have a potential of 87. So I'm not sure about that one because I haven't, to be honest, watched much of him this year. Uh, but for, he's been linked with massive teams like Arsenal and teams around the world as well. So he looks to be a great player. And before this season, I've never heard of the guy. Like He's really broke through in the season and Leon did so well in the league as well. We couldn't make a potential upgrades video without featuring, of course, in my opinion, the best young player right now, Paul Pogba. So last season in FIFA 15, he had a potential of 91 and he started off as an 84 rated player. So this season he, he basically played 36 games, he got 10 goals and also got 6 assists as well. Uh, so basically I've upgraded his overall to 85 and I was thinking maybe upgrading his potential to 92 but I'm not sure because uh, obviously I think he's going to be as good as James Rodriguez who's got the same kind of potential uh, but I was kind of thinking 91, 92 so I decided to play it safe and go with the 91 rated potential. Uh, so still, I, I hope this season he has a fantastic season. Hopefully no big injuries as well. And he's just the perfect player to use. And obviously on FIFA, he's absolutely incredible. And we cannot forget about Neymar in his potential upgraded videos. So last year, one of the best players in the world, especially uh, one of the best young players in the world. So he could be fighting with James Rodriguez and also Pogba for probably the best young player right now in the world. So last year on FIFA 15, he had a rating of 86 and got to 91. Uh, but this year, compared to his first season at Barcelona, he really showed his potential. So last year, he's, he basically played 47 games. He scored 41 goals and he also assisted 8 goals as well. So maybe this year he should go for more assists. Uh, but hopefully he scores as many goals as last season as well. Uh, so finally, uh, for his overall, I think he should be upgraded to a plus 1 to 87. And also his potential should be upgraded plus 1 to 92. Which kind of makes me think uh, that Pogba should be also rated the same as well. So enough of the forwards and midfielders. Now we're going to move on to the first defender. And we're going to talk about Nick. Nicholas Otamendi from Valencia. So last year he was tipped to be one of the best uh, defenders in the uh, world for me. Like, can you think of much better? Maybe Sergio Ramos, uh, Thiago Silva, maybe one as well. But apart from that, Nicolas Otamendi had an absolutely solid season. So last year he played 40 games and also got six goals as well, which is also important for a centre back as well as his fantastic defending as well. So basically at the moment he's 83 and 86. Uh, but for me, on FIFA 16, I think she've upgraded plus two to uh, his overall to 85 and also plus one on the potential as well. So that's going to be the final player of the second episode of the Potential Upgrades. If you guys enjoyed the episode, remember to smash a like on the video. And if you do want to see more, leave a comment down below with what players to go for in the next episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.